I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about trigonometric integrals. In problem number 35, we'd like to evaluate the integral of tangent cubed of 4x dx. All right, so as in other problems, when we see that we've got some tangents floating around, we've got options. We could see, uh, what if I wrote tangent as sines and cosines? What if I wrote a few of the tangents as secants? Uh, all of that is a good idea. So try something, see what you get. There are more than one way uh, there's more than one way to go about solving a lot of these problems and some of them may work, some of them may not work as well. So you've just got to try stuff. That's the most important thing is try stuff, see where it gets you, look for things that you know the antiderivative of. In this case, I'm going to do this problem this way. I'm going to rewrite this as, uh, let's take two of the tangents and separate them off. So I have a tangent of 4x, and I'll write two of the tangents over here, a tangent of 4x quantity squared dx. Now I know by a trig identity that tangent of 4x squared can be written as secant squared of 4x minus 1. So let's write it that way. So I'll rewrite this as tangent of 4x times this is secant squared of 4x minus 1 dx. If I multiply that out, I get tangent of 4x times secant squared of 4x uh, minus tangent of 4x dx. All right. Um, and now the question is, can I take the antiderivative of these two pieces? First, let's look at tangent 4x secant squared of 4x. Well, the derivative of tangent of 4x is kind of, sort of, um, almost secant squared of 4x. Not exactly, but pretty close. So we could use a u-substitution to do the first piece. The second piece, I look at it, and this is tangent of 4x, and the way that I'm going to take an antiderivative of tangent of 4x is recognize that tangent of 4x is sine of 4x over cosine of 4x. So let's break these into two pieces, and we're going to deal with those two pieces separately. Okay, the first piece is integral of tangent 4x times secant squared of 4x dx. And then I've got a second integral, which is minus, I can put the minus outside the integral, uh, tangent of 4x. But I'm going to write tangent of 4x in the following way. I'm going to write that as sine of 4x divided by cosine of 4x dx. All right, both, each of these I'm going to use a u substitution on. It's a different substitution in each case, so let's not get confused. On this first guy, I want to use the following substitution. I want u to be tangent of 4x. If that's the case, then du would be secant squared of 4x times an additional 4 by the chain rule. So I'll write that out in front, dx. Okay, let's look over here. I'll use a different letter, not u. Let's use w. So I'm going to let w equal cosine of 4x. So dw would be negative sine of 4x times 4. So maybe I'll just write this as minus 4 sine of 4x dx. And now I can make a substitution into both of these integrals. Uh, the first one, 
let's see, what do I need to make this substitution? I need a four on the inside, so that means I need a one-fourth outside. So I'll put in a little four, which means I can put in a little one-fourth. Now the substitution will look like one-fourth, the integral of tangent of 4x becomes my u, and 4 secant squared of 4x dx all becomes my du. All right, so far so good. Over here on my second integral, uh, I need a negative 4 on the inside for my substitution. I have a negative here, I could move it in. If I move it in, this is a positive. So I'm putting the negative in here, and I also need a 4. So that means I need a 1 fourth on the outside. And now I'm ready to make my substitution. I have a plus 1 fourth integral of, on the bottom, I have W. On the top, I have negative 4 sine of 4x dx. That is dw. So here is what I still need to take an antiderivative of. The first antiderivative is fairly easy. I get 1 fourth times 1 half u squared and plus c, I'll just add on at the end. Over here I get plus 1 fourth and the antiderivative of 1 over w dw is ln absolute value of w, and then I have my constant. Now let's just plug back in for what I know that u is and what I know that w is. So u we know is tangent of 4x. So this is going to be 1 eighth tangent of 4x quantity squared. So I'll put a square in there. Then I get plus 1 fourth ln of the absolute value of w. Well, w is cosine of 4x. So this is absolute value of cosine of 4x plus c. And here is my antiderivative.